Michael Morales Torres para Lucha de Libro Online Metro Puerto Rico y el calce, mi invitado especial, Boo Pinder Gujar, parte del roster de Impact Wrestling directamente de India para el mundo. Boo Pinder, it's an honor for us to have you here at Lucha Libre Online. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me on this show. Thank you for being here, sir. Your career and your pathway has been different and interesting, to say the very least. You made your debut in 2019, and just in, in, in a few months, you made your debut with Impact as well. You got officially signed last year, but you had a different beginning because your trainer was none other than the great Kali back in India. How was your time training back in India with Kali, sir? Oh, that was a great experience, you know. Um, I never see anyone tall like him before in my life. So when I moved uh, <laughs> at his school, then I was just, first thing I was just looking at his face and his hands, giant. But uh, I was there for uh, not like more, like six, seven months, like my basic training I would have done from there. But that was a good uh, enough time to, uh, you know, talk to Kali about pro wrestling and, you know, getting my drills in, learning about pro wrestling, what exactly professional wrestling is. So um, that's, a, that's a great time, you know. It, that's something um, I have learned that, and uh, it's helped me to make sure that, yes, I want to do pro wrestling. That's great, sir. And you had the opportunity to make your debut, if I'm not mistaken, back in 2019 as well, as part of the Desi Hit Squad for Impact Wrestling. Um, yes. How was your experience to, you know, to face yourself to a huge scenario or a huge mainstream company like it's Impact Wrestling? That was your first time. What do you recall, you know, on your first day with Impact back in 2019? Uh, yeah, first I want to say, like, uh, I go trained by Great Kali when I was in India. And then when I moved to Canada, I go trained by Scott, Scott Demore. And uh, that when I get chance to work with uh, Impact in 2019, I was super nervous, moved to Canada, had no clue what I'm doing, and uh, scare, scary, because, you know, when you move to different country, culture is different people are different and uh, you know like i don't know like how things work here so that i was a little you know confused uh, new kid especially to this business and to this country so uh that was when i get a chance to work with impact it took me like a couple of days to digest like okay i'm working with tna impact wrestling because back then it used to be tna six-sided ring so i had to confirm from school like hey scott is it the same tna when we i used to watch it and i was like yes now it's impact So I was like, it took me a couple of days to digest, you know, I was like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going with impact. And, uh, I did some shows, uh, in Canada, uh, with, uh, under Desi Hit Squad, squad. Uh, so that, that I think really when, you know, you had like big matches, these kind of big matches, you know, like what do you want to do? Because you already have the taste of success, you know? And I knew like I had uh, competed in, uh, in 2019 or 2015 or 2019 in front of big crowd, like in Windsor, Canada. So right away I knew like, yes, I just love pro wrestling. I want to do it. And uh, for my visa issue uh, reasons, so I couldn't cross border couldn't, uh, and couldn't perform in uh, States. But uh, uh, I was worried training under Scott at, at his school BC dub and I was just waiting for my time and 2021 uh, I signed officially with Impact Wrestling full-time as a full-time all visa issues sorted so now traveling the world and you know learning a lot about pro wrestling that's a dream come true to say the very least when Impact Wrestling either Scott the or the person that provided you the contract handled you that contract you earned it you worked for it very hard You are about to sign. What's going through your mind? Like you watched this a long time ago. It was TNA. Now it's Impact Wrestling. It's one of the top companies all around the world. How do mm -hmm. you feel to be, you know, chosen to be that part, to be part of that roster? Yeah, um, I want to say I was preparing for it because I spent like over a decade in my different sports. Like I started my career. Most people, I think if, no, if they don't know, like I was, I started my career as a bodybuilder boxing, kickboxing, national level kickboxer. And I was doing all that stuff, but I knew that I wanted to do pro wrestling back then. We didn't have much opportunity. So that was the only way I wanted to just keep doing and finding my way. But when I signed with Impact, like I wasn't 
uh, I wanted to do it, but it was like, I was scary because I had no one around me, like no friend, no family. It was just by myself. And I was, you know, uh, if you, if I have had to sign that big contract, I don't know. I don't understand like what exactly this contract is about. You know, I just don't want to sign the contract or going to stuck with some company. And when um, I got a call from Sanjay Dutt and he explained me about pro wrestling, like impact wrestling, sorry. Uh, so it really, he really helped me to get, you know, gain the trust. And uh, uh, I, I I was expecting it to happen like uh, in a couple of years down the line, like maybe after two years when I moved, when I know like, you know, I'm, I'm training or whatever, but it happened right away when I moved. And it's like my, uh, my hard work pays over whatever I was doing for years and back home. I moved here and then I was like, okay, you know, after I got, got a call from Sanjay, I was like, I'm going to just sign this contract and let's see uh, where it's going to take me, you know. And then as I, as I think back, as I remember, like I never cheated a single day. Like if I can, I knew I wasn't sleeping well, just four hours sleep, you know, going crazy, but I never cheated ever in my life, you know, training, wrestling, school or whatever, but it's just a loop was going on. And finally, I end up with Impact Wrestling. And inside Impact Wrestling, you've had the opportunity to face and share the ring with so many names. Mm -hmm. um, one of them, a former world champion as well as Bully Ray or Eddie Edwards, for example. There are a lot of talent that you have the opportunity to share the ring with Moose, for example. How do you felt, you know, being toe-to-toe, -to -toe, step by, you know, face-to-face -face with the biggest names in the industry? Um, uh, you know, uh, when you get to know, like you are working with all these uh, superstars, you are first definitely nervous. But if you have you work on yourself, and if you know what you're doing, it's more easy to just have to tell like, hey, that's what I'm going to do in a ring. And inside the ring, it's all competition. I just want to give my best, you know, I don't want to look uh, shit inside the ring when I'm facing all these superstars, you know, because people are watching me. So I want to give my best. And uh, that's my uh, kind of theory behind it. Like I definitely, I, I respect all these uh, superstars, all these pro wrestlers or those who are my senior. But once I'm in a ring, I just want to give my best. So and I, I think that's the way of show what you got. And it's really helped you to, uh, you know, build your confidence around these superstars. Over the years, you had the, a lot of opportunities, but as well, recently, you had the opportunity to perform in Mexico, if I'm not mistaken, for the first time with Lucha mm -hmm. Libre AAA. It was waving that Impact Wrestling flag. You were representing Impact as part of the international team. A lot of co-workers as well, partners from Impact had the opportunity to be there. How did it feel for you to, you know, to be there at Tijuana representing Impact Wrestling in front of thousands of thousands of people from Mexico? sharing the ring with people like Penta, but obviously, you know, that, that impact wrestling flag, like you had the opportunity to wave it in Mexico. How did it felt? Oh man, it felt great. Cause uh, when I landed Guadalajara, it was like, you know, I felt like, Oh, that looks same as India. You know, you're not going to believe like that was my first reaction. I was sitting just beside Josh and I was telling him, Hey Josh, did this place remind me of my home, home country? And he was like, Oh really? I'm like, yeah, Guadalajara, like the people here. So nice. And the uh, the whole structures are like, you know, like my own country. So I loved like the first thing I, you know, I, it was my first time. I, I just loved Mexico. And uh, then I had big match like Pentagon, Black Truce, Laredo Kid and uh, representing India and representing Impact Wrestling on such a big stage and seeing the whole opening ceremony, big military, you know, tens of thousands of people in this big stadium. And I was like, oh, my God, I just love it. And, uh, yeah, man, it felt amazing. Um, I was so nervous uh, for that match because uh, I had to take finish from the radio kid. And I was nervous because I never had taken any Spanish fly from the top rope. So I was kind of, you know, kind of. That was your had first? Better... That was my first, actually. I never had in my it life. It was brilliant. That was a clean one. Like, so, yeah, I wasn't even uh, care about care care about my match at that that point of time, and I was just you know working in my mind like, okay, uh, how can I make uh, him look great, especially in Mexico? How can I, you know, take his finisher like as the best as I can? So I was just working on it, studying it, and. Um, we had like the small couple of seconds feud in last 
uh, last segment of the match that was great and uh, we finished it well and uh, and i gained few people stressed over there made new friends in mexico and i love that place and you also had the opportunity to face as much you mentioned laredo kid and block tourist to impact wrestling that's stars that's as well like brilliant that's, um that's big i'm gonna say something in spanish if you allow me sir eh, y es que este 26 de mayo viernes 26 de mayo impact wrestling regresa con under siege a londres ontario canadá 26 de mayo en canadá directamente a las 8 de la noche hora del este under siege disponible por impact plus para todo el mundo y también disponible en Fight TV pero si estás por el área, por el por allá por Canadá, hay mucho boricua, hay mucho mexicano, hay mucho latino, sobre todo en el área de Ontario, en Canadá, adquieran su boleto impactwrestling.com, hay mucho latino por ahí, por el área, dense la vuelta Bupinder va a estar en acción al igual que muchas otras superestrellas, así que 26 de mayo Impact Wrestling directamente desde London Ontario, Canadá, 8 de la noche disponible por Impact Plus y Fight TV y de igual manera todos los jueves, jueves de, a las 8 de la noche también por Access TV y por la suscripción de, de Impact Insiders directamente en su canal de YouTube, jueves 8 de la noche, la programación semanal de Impact, Access TV, YouTube Insiders, no se lo pueden perder, créanme, vale la pena cada segundo de su tiempo, yo lo disfruto, a mí me encanta el producto de Impact, lo consumo semanal, así que créanme, a ustedes también les va a fascinar. Bupinder, before we go to the last two questions, I just wanted to thank you so much for your time. Um, and they go actually a tie by the hand. Under Siege, great scenario. Ontario and Canada, where your career in Canada took like a different pathway. That was the place that granted you, you know, the opportunity to to become, you know, to experience impact for the first time. What can we expect from Wupinder, uh, Gujar in this next set of tapings, both um, Friday and Saturday, and as well? What can the fans in Canada and the Latin American fans in the area, because there are a lot of Latinos in Ontario, what's the invitation to them so they can come on the 26th to under Uh Definitely, uh, you're going to see a Bupinder who can talk to people, who can connect to the people in the ring and outside the ring. So that's my main focus now. You know, Whenever I go out, I just want to have fun. I want to entertain people. I want to make sure like people having a good time When I'm coming out, I really want them to cheer my name. And definitely, I love to meet them after the show whenever I can, before the show. And plus, they're going to see a great match because I'm really working hard inside the ring and outside the ring. And uh, these two things I'm going to bring on this upcoming show. Definitely, you guys are going to have a great show in um, London, Ontario. Pues, así como lo escucharon, lo vieron en Guadalajara en acción, lo han visto en Estados Unidos, lo han visto en Canadá. Bupinder llega a Under Siege este próximo 26 de mayo, disponible por Fight TV e Impact Plus y no se lo pueden perder por nada del mundo. Eh, créanme, este caballero en cuatro años ha tomado el mundo por sorpresa, ha dejado su marca en la industria y el 26 de mayo no será la excepción. No le despeguen los ojos de encima porque Gupinder llegó para quedarse. Sir, it's been an absolute honor to have you here as our guest. Thank you so much for your time and for sharing your stories with us here at Lucha Libre Online. We thank you, we thank Ross and Impact Wrestling as well for your time. Any last words for the fans in Latin America? I want to say thank you so much for having me on this show. And I really, really love Mexico. I really want to come back. So bring me back there. <laughs> But that's a, you know, it, that's a home from, uh, that's a home far from my home. So Mexico is like, I really, really like the Mexican food, Mexican, you know, the people over there and the crowd and the way they love wrestling. It's like, yes, I want to be on this place again. So love you, Mexico. And thank you so much for having me here. Thank you, sir. Let's hope to see you back in Mexico. Lucha Libre AAA, ya le escucharon. Denle una llamada por parte de Impact Wrestling. Llamen a Impact y Bupinder va a llegar a México. Así que ya le escucharon Bupinder y Michael Morales Torres para Lucha Libre Online, porque en español nadie lo hace mejor. Será hasta la próxima.